the University of Oklahoma Mewborn School of Petroleum and Geological Engineering is forging the path into the 21st century. The University of Oklahoma has a history of excellence in energy education dating back to 1919 when it awarded its first degree in geological engineering. Over the last 90 years, more than 5,000 students have earned degrees in petroleum and geological engineering, which is more than any other university in the United States. Over the past decade, the Mewborn School of Petroleum and Geological Engineering has placed more than 90% of their graduates in the oil and gas industry. The Mewborn School of Petroleum and Geological Engineering is the leader in industry research and planning for future energy needs and drill sites. Here at the University of Oklahoma, students in petroleum engineering studies receive real-world, hands-on education. The Rock Properties Lab offers students an opportunity to study and research the Earth's properties in an effort to seek out the most economic and ecologically sound places to drill. This machine here is a nuclear magnetic resonance machine, which in short is uh, pronounced NMR and it's essentially a measure of the response of atomic nuclei to varying magnetic fields and it provides a means to measure water saturated porosity, uh, reservoir permeability which is one of the most important parameters also and the useful thing about this machine is you don't have to disturb the integrity of the rock. These students here are working on a barrier saturated core so they're determining the parameters I mentioned earlier, the permeability and the water saturated porosity on a barrier saturated core. My team back here is working on the uh, Foyer Transform Infrared Spectroscope, it stands for uh, FTIR. And they're just working on an experiment back here and trying to determine the exact uh, clay mineralogy of the shale samples. We have to know a lot about um, the exact clay mineralogy and, and, and what types of clays are in our shale samples. That way we can determine other things such as you know, like the swelling properties of the clays and the bound in free water. This is a combination of velocity, resistivity and mechanical testing static moduli. What it does actually help us gather specific petrophysical properties of the rock. The resistivity measurement help us get the water saturation and it also help us uh, get the true value of the resistivity in the rock. It help us definitely understand what's going on in the ground. And me and my team here will be monitoring the acoustic emission events which will be creating artificially by pumping the fluid into sample and we induce the hydraulic fractures within the sample. One of the main reasons which propelled me to come to the University of Oklahoma is the expertise and well-renowned professors which we have here and the laboratory facilities which we have here uh, which supports my academic studies. The Well Construction Technology Center at the University of Oklahoma is a state-of-the-art facility for conducting fluids-related research for the oil and gas industry. Over the past 17 years, it has helped develop innovative technologies that have improved the efficiency and economic viability of drilling, completion, and production operations. We have uh, three equipment, we have uh, three size mixing tanks and blenders, and we also have uh, different configurations of tubings. Like for example, in the in oil industry, we have different configurations of tubing, straight tubing, exchange canals, and coil tubing. And most of the times, uh, in conventional drilling, we use uh, drill pipes and it has to be affixed to each other before sending it down the well bore. But as you see over here, coil tubing, you just get, get the coil tubing reel and then send it into the well bore. It saves a lot of uh, uh, rig time and it saves us money and there's no leakage compared to uh, conventional drilling. The gelation of waxy crudes and restart of shut-in is a project for students researching ways to prevent loss of produced fluids and to create flow assurance after a time of underwater pipeline shutdown. The objective is to investigate wax deposition in subsea conditions and how pressure affects gel strength and restart conditions of the pipelines. This is what happens after a while when the pipe has been shut in. Because of the cooling effect that results from the pipe being shut in, the viscosity of the oil increases. And then when we get to a wax appearance temperature, wax starts to form. And if this goes on for uh, a relatively long period of time, we have gelation, which is what this wax embodies. And then what we see is we're not going to be able to flow the pipe. And the importance of this experiment is such that it helps us to design and select appropriate paraffin disposal techniques for paraffin deposits in gel pipes and also to maintain flow assurance in the pipes. 
The Meaborn School of Petroleum and Geological Engineering is one of only four locations in the world that has a nano-scanning electron microscope laboratory. You're in the Devon Energy Nano Imaging Center, and what we do in this center is uh, we study the microstructure of gas shells, and we do that using a scanning electron microscope. And with the scanning electron microscope, we're able to uh, image uh, the structure of these shells using an electron beam, and we're able to image features that are so small they're about 50,000 times smaller than the width of a human hair. And he's working with uh, what's called energy dispersive spectroscopy, so he's uh, investigating the elemental composition of uh, some of these gas shells over here. Basically, uh, a lot of uh, models and simulations are based off uh, what the structure of these things are. And you have to know uh, the right parameters to plug into these models and simulation. And that's what we're basically doing over here, is coming up with what are your pore sizes, how connected are the pores, and things of that nature. One of the crown jewels of the Mewborn School of Petroleum and Geological Engineering is the deep water oil well drilling simulator. This digital drilling simulator offers a real world research and training facility for the students in the world of offshore drilling technology. It um, simulates an offshore drilling rig in the Gulf of Mexico, an uh, ultra deep water um, drilling ship, and semi submersible rig that can drill in water depths of up to 12,000 feet and uh, up to 37,000 feet um, drilling depth, total drilling depth. And um, this was donated by, uh, by National Oil Barco. Its primary use is training um, to help eliminate, co uh, eliminate costs um, where safety and environmental hazards were before. It uh, uses an um, automatic roughneck. It uh, eliminates the use of a roughneck on the floor, um, eliminates safety hazards. And also, it has state-of-the-art technology to help eliminate um, environmental hazards that um, have impacted in the past. Uh, the uh, petroleum Eng engineering program at OU is one of the best in the aspects of um, the best simulators, the best labs, and all that. And of course, this drilling simulator is one of the only ones in the world, so that's a big um, encouragement to come to the University of Oklahoma. From hands-on summer internships to everyday student life, students at the Mewborn School of Petroleum and Geological Engineering experience the great taste of college life in a great college town. Educating tomorrow's engineers, placing students in the world's energy corporations, and creating research that benefits energy needs for everyone are the reasons why the Mewborn School of Petroleum and Geological Engineering is forging the path into the 21st century.